Greetings from Blackwater United Methodist Church. My name is Patty Hewitt. I'm the lead pastor here. And I uh, just have a little bit of something that's on my heart that I want to offer to you who are members or friends of our church. Um, as of now, we do plan on worshiping in person on Christmas Eve. And we have four different times, 4 and 6 p.m. for our sanctuary service and 5 and 7 p.m. for our table service. You can find out uh, more information about those at blackwaterumc.org as well as come to the table dot church and uh, there you will find information we do require registration so we we can get a handle on how many's coming um, but for those of you who don't plan on being with us in person for christmas eve we want to make available to you um first poinsettias that some of you have ordered that are placed in the sanctuary in honor of or in memory of a loved one. And you can see I have one of those here uh, with me. They are absolutely beautiful this year. And so if you are one of the ones that ordered uh, one or multiple of poinsettias and um, you're not going to be back to church before Christmas, we want to be able to bring them to you. So we're going to ask that you contact the church office and speak with Melindy West or you can email the church office at church at blackwaterumc.org. No, excuse me, church office at blackwaterumc.org. Either way, and we'll make sure that you receive these before Christmas Eve. The other thing are congregational candles. If you have been in um, most all worship services on Christmas Eve, um, you will have taken part in the very closing of those services where we light uh, individual candles that we hold um, and we pass that light to one another to represent that the light of Christ has come into the world. It is a beautiful, um, meaningful way to, to close that time together. So again, if you're not going to be with us on Christmas Eve, we want to make available those to you. And so again, I'm going to ask that you contact the church office. Again, speak with Melindy West. You can call or email and you can let her know how many candles that you need. It might be that you're going to be by yourself um, or it might be that some of your family's coming in town. We want to be able to make those available to you. Uh, so let us know. We will do that safely. We will drop them on your porch. We will ring that doorbell and we will leave. Um, but you will have those precious, precious um, items that while we don't worship them, they do add to our um, acknowledgement of Jesus, who is God, who is coming to the world. So um, our church is praying for you, myself and Reverend Angela Robertson, we're praying for you. Our care team is praying for you, especially if you or someone dear to you has the COVID virus. We are praying for health to be restored. Um, and that you'll be able to get back to um, your community of faith uh, quickly. So as we leave this time together again, I just, um, you're, you're on my mind and, on, and in my heart. And uh, I just hope to see you really soon. If not this Sunday, Christmas Eve. And if not Christmas Eve, then sometime in the, in the future when it's safer for you to do so. So know that you are loved. Know that you are missed. Know that you are a child of the Most High, and I pray that your Christmas and your Christmas Eve will be one um, of great promise and hope for a better day tomorrow. Thank you, and God bless, and uh, go out there today and have a great one. See you soon.